In the previous video, we have learned how to draw different shapes on our screen. In this video, we'll focus on how can we color those shapes and make it more interesting. By now, I think you're quite familiar with the function background, right? The number here that you see is 220 and it gives us what? A color of light gray, right? And we have tried before. If we put a very, very small number, the color is black. And if we put a very, very large number, the color is white. So the smaller the number, the darker it gets, the higher the number, the lighter it gets. In today's video, I will be focusing on the different ways that you can use color functions within p5.js and how can you put different arguments to make different interesting colors. The color mode that I want to focus on in this video is called RGB and RGB stands for red, green, and blue. And these primary colors, when you mix them together, you can create new colors. And this is how this RGB mode is made of essentially. So for you to understand better what is the mixing of these things, think about a black room, a very, very dark room that you're inside. And in that room, you have three light sources. You put the three light sources in three different corners of the room. And these three sources point to the ceiling at the same location. So if you don't turn these three lights on, what's the color of the room? It's totally dark, it's totally black right? But then if you turn one on, and that is the red one, now the room turns to be the color red. You turn that off, you turn on the green one, then the room becomes green. You turn that one off, and then you turn the blue one, and then the room becomes blue. But if you turn all of them on, what do you think the color would be? You might be thinking it might be a color of like dark brown, or just kind of like a mixing of a bunch of different colors. But what you're thinking is the mixing of what? Like color pencils, right? But what we're mixing right now is the mixing of light sources. When you turn on the three red, green, and blue colors, the color that you get is actually white. Right now, we're only talking about turning on and off lights, right? Like from zero to 100% right away. But actually what you can do is that you can vary the brightness of each of these color sources. And that's also the way that you can mix colors and get different colors that are not like the primary colors. The range of the brightness that you can pick within each light sources is between the number 0 and 255. But now you might have a question, hey Pat, what we just did is that we put in a number that was like so low, like a negative number. And then we also put in a number that is so high that was like a million. How did that work? It is because the P5JS function, the color functions here, when it receives an input or an argument that is below zero, it just sets that number to be zero. And if it receives a number that is above 255, it just set that number to be 255. So actually the range is still between zero and 255. So let's give it a try with this background function, right? I say that you need to input in three values, right? R, G, and B. So if I put in zero, zero, and zero, what do you get? Black, because it's like what? It's like turning off all the lights, right? And if I put in 255 in the first one, it's like switching on the red color. And now it's turned red. And I turn this one off, and then I turn the green one on, you get green. I turn this one off, and then I turn on the blue one, and you get what? Blue. And if you turn on everything, you get white. But what if you want to vary the color a little bit, the brightness? And now you get a mix of new color, purple. As you can see before, when we begin, we start with just 220, right? Which is in the gray scale between black and white. It is because if you put in an argument of the same color, if you put the brightness of each of the light source to be the same, it gives you the color that is within the gray scale. And instead of having to write three of the same numbers, you can just write one number. Same thing as 255, right? 
which is when you turn on all the lights all the way. You get white, you can just put one number, and same thing as black. Another variable that you can use to manipulate the colors on your screen is called transparency or an alpha value. And what is transparency? Transparency is an ability to allow light to come through. Let's think about tinting your windows, your car windows, right? If you don't tint anything at all, you allow light to come in 100%, right? So whatever you see or whatever the colors of things that are outside, you see it 100%. But if you put the tint on like very, very dark, you don't really allow light to come in. So even though like outside it's like bright red, what you might see might be like slightly pink, right? So that essentially what an alpha value is. It is between a range of zero and 255 as well, where 255 is allowing all the light to come in 100%, while zero is not allowing any light to come in at all. Okay, so let's try first by drawing a circle. Smack in the middle here, we have a white circle. So white is the default color when you don't put in any colors, right? You can use a function called fill, and this function colors your shapes, and it has to come before the function to draw shapes, right? Just think about like when you color something, you need to pick up a color pencil before you can color it. This is basically the same thing. You want to write the function of filling in the color before you write the function that draw the shapes. So fill, let's say that I want it to be the color red. You just put it in front of that function. And if you draw a different, let's do rectangle. Uh, the color of this rectangle is still red because you already picked up the color pencil red, right? If you want to change this color, let's say to yellow, you just rewrite this fill function in front of the shape that you want that color to be. And now you see we have a red circle and a yellow rectangle. Now for transparency, right, which is the alpha value. So the alpha value is the value that you put at the end of the RGB value. Let's say that you put in fill of 255. What do you think you would see? Nothing, right? Because you allow light to come in 100%. But if you put in zero, now you see you don't allow the color yellow to come in at all. And if you put in 100, you allow it to come in a little bit, right? So you put this alpha value as the fourth value if in your function you have RGB. But if you were to only put in one color here, which is white, right? The alpha value would be the second argument. Now that you say that you can use background to color the background of your canvas, and then you can use fill to color the different shapes that you draw, I want to introduce you to two more functions that is for drawing shapes and also for coloring your shapes. And these two functions are stroke and stroke weight. So stroke is a function that takes in color arguments the same way that we have discussed in this video, but what it does is that it colors the stroke of your shapes. So let's see, if we want this color to be blue, the circle and the rectangle has the strokes of color blue, right? And if you want the rectangle to be a different stroke color, you can just put it here. Let's do uh, green, right? And what is stroke weight? Stroke weight basically just change the size of the stroke. The default size is one. So let's say if I put three, you can see that the size of the stroke is now thicker. Like I said, if you want the other shape to be a different stroke weight, you just have to recall that function before that specific shape. Let's do five stroke weight and now our rectangle has a thicker stroke of five now that you see how to color different shapes let's go back to the drawing that you have done before or just create new ones and try to color create different interesting color patterns or color shapes and 
see what you can come up with.